Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my February Ipsy unbagging tutorial type video. So I got my February Ipsy bag in the mail. I think it was earlier this week. I was actually going to film a different video today but I got this one in the mail and I wanted to film a video on that. So if you would like to see what I got in my Ipsy bag and how these products work for me, then just keep watching. So this is what this month's Ipsy bag looks like. And you guys, like I am, I'm not happy. It looks and feels super cheap. So it's like this pink, like cottony material and they slapped like this black lace on the front um this is what the back looks like like what what the hell is going on and there's even like lint on my bag like really i don't know if they were trying to go for like a sexy thing because you know valentine's day is in february they want like the lace and pink to be sexy but it's not the bag is not so it's like I don't know, you have like that pretty girl, but then like her eyelashes hanging off, that type of look. Like this was an afterthought really. Like they slapped on some lace on, you know, some Walmart underwear. I don't know, I don't like it. I'm never going to use this bag. I'll probably even throw it away because it's just, it's sad. I did get a couple good products, so of course um, I got a brush, which I love brushes. No matter how many brushes I get from Ipsy, I will never complain. I love them. And this is a Lexi 249, um, and it's a dual ended brush. So you have like a fluffy blending brush on this side, and then like a um, tapered fluffy flat brush on the other side. So next, I have this uh, Swiss chocolate brown eyeliner from the company Trace Steak. So it looks like this and it's just a mini eyeliner. Um, looks like mine is broken. Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin de Detoxifying and Brightening Purifying Pink Clay Mask. Um, it just says this product contains vitamin A. Use with caution if also taking dietary supplements or using products containing vitamin A. This Beauty Basics uh, foiled eyeshadow, um, but the eyeshadow looks like this from the company Hey Honey, which we've gotten products from them before. I think I got like a honey like peel off mask, um, but it's Hey Honey Come Undone Face and Eye Daily Makeup Remover, all skin types. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the clay mask on my face. This is what it looks like. It's like a like a gray pink color. Um, so I'm just going to apply that to my face. Um, leave it on like any mask and then wash it off. It feels creamy. It doesn't really feel like a clay like formula. Okay so I just wanted to pop back on here really quick before I go ahead and wash my face. So this is what that mask looks like all the way dried down. It's really tight. Um, so I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I am back. And one thing that I can say that I do already like about that mask um, is it came off super easily. I was able to just wash it off with a wet washcloth. Sometimes with those clay masks, they really, you know, you have to really kind of wet your whole face and kind of rub it in to just get the mask off but it came off super easy so I really like that my face does feel soft um it is really dry right now but that is expected with those type of like detoxifying masks where they pull everything out so I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face really quick and then we will jump into the makeup part of this tutorial so here I am just applying that color to my lids with a flat packing brush and I thought it was pigmented but the more I applied the color the more color I lost which is strange so it's not very pigmented at all so then I decided to take my finger to apply that which worked a lot better but enough not enough color payoff for me so next I'm going in with a couple colors from my Morphe 39A just to pop in my crease. And I'm using a Morphe brush here and then I decided to use that Luxie brush to see how it worked which was amazing. 
So next I'm going in with another color from the Morphe 39A to blend out that crease further. And here is a close up of that brown eyeshadow. So when I applied it, it did not go on smoothly and there was not enough color payoff for me. So then I went in with a angled brush to blend it out, which did not work at all. And then to apply that color to my waterline, I did have to swipe it a couple times to get any type of color payoff. Okay guys, so I am back with the rest of my makeup done. This eye got messed up just a little bit because I was applying a liquid liner to my lash band and it got on my eyeshadow, so don't mind that. And I'm not going out anywhere after I record this video. I'm just going to take up, take up, take off all of my makeup and go about my day. Um, so the last thing that we need to try is that um, makeup remover from Honey or Hey Honey. So I do have some makeup on the back of my hand. So I have the shadow. So I was just testing it out, and then the eyeliner too is oh. Uh, so it's coming out. Let me zoom you guys in. As soon as I took that little foil protective thing off, it just started coming out. I'm not even squeezing it. It's just coming out on its own. A lot of products do that, but we're going to go ahead and remove the makeup on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to put all of that there and try and get you guys in focus. It just says to like rub it in with moist fingers, but I... I'm not near a sink, so I'm not going to get up and do that. It's like a gel consistency. Paper towel, and we'll see if... Take it off. My hand is clean, so it did a good job. Um, it says to use it with moist fingers, so that may help it better. Okay, so that completes today's Ipsy Unbagging Try On video. Um, so out of the five products that I got this month, um, my favorite has to be that brush. It was super soft. It blended my crease, crease shadow really nicely. And then I also used um, the opposite side just to apply like my brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. Makeup remover, I mean, I'll use it up until it's gone. I won't be like purchasing it. It's not going to replace what I currently use. So, I mean, it's nice to try something new, but man, pink clay mask. I don't know, I feel like all detoxifying masks are the same. Maybe I'm just using the wrong ones. But again, I'll just use this up until it's done and then move on to the next. Eyeshadow, I mean, I'm not going to go out and like repurchase this at all. It was, it was alright. The color's nice. It's a nice peachy color. Perfect for like spring and summer. But if you do use the shadow... Um, maybe it works better wet. It didn't work well with the brush. It worked better with my fingers. And then when I went in to blend my crease color, all of the shadows blended off, so I had to reapply um, after. This is eh. I feel like all these products are eh. I'm excited about the brown eyeliner, but it broke. I mean, it's nice. It was kind of hard to blend out after I applied it to my upper lash line. So that concludes today's Ipsy tutorial try on review slash rant of February's bag. Um, leave me a comment down below. I want to know what you guys got in your Ipsy bag, if you got the same products, how you feel about them, how they worked for you. Let's chat in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.